Hello and welcome to another update video about FET. So FET shows a little bit of an upside reaction to the support zone, but nothing reliable yet. Okay, so yesterday I made the video and explained to you that we are quite deep now in support and that in this region the bulls should really turn up to keep this wave count alive. This possible 1-2 setup we've seen. It's not a great 1-2 setup, it really is questionable. But then the problem is also down here, you know, on some exchanges, this might be the one two setup down there, right? So it, that would actually look best, <laughs> but um, it, it wouldn't change the support area, but that would look best. Yeah. And then we have a leading diagonal to the upside in one because the wave three looks like a three wave move. So I would I would like that best, but I think here on Binance, it actually was invalidated. Now in a volatile crypto, oh, maybe not. <clears throat> In the volatile crypto market, sometimes that happens, you know, and you can, I mean, I would say maybe that's still valid, um, but that's not so important, you know, it's not, um, it's not so important. It would actually look quite good. One, two, three, four, five. Anyway, um, the main purpose here of this video is to highlight to you that really, I mean, hopefully that lowers in now. Um, I mean, we've seen a reaction to the upside, slight upside since the last video, I think. Um, We'll see if it now can push higher, leave the support area to the upside and we need a break above 137. For those who don't know what this is, this is a support area based on Fibonacci mathematics. After a five wave pattern to the upside, which indicates a series of higher highs and higher lows, this pattern normally gets corrected. This is the support region in which we would expect such a correction like a wave two, a so-called wave two after the wave one was the first wave of the next uptrend cycle. Um, <clears throat> so it should form a low here, ideally not break below $1.18, below 118, so below that 78.6 retracement sentiment shifts in a way that we say that normally we would have to expect invalidation. But the, the true invalidation point is then down here, the red line at $1.10. So 118 holds ideally, in the worst case, 110 has to hold, but already below 118 probability shift towards something more bearish. And if that low holds, then the third wave should send us higher above the last swing high at 165 then. And the third wave, where could it go to? I mean, it makes sense to at least give you an orientation. I'm not convinced yet we have bottomed, but the first, if a first micro five wave move up forms with a break above these small highs from Thursday and Wednesday, well, that would be a good indication actually, but obviously taking out that um, Tuesday high there would be even better. And the third wave, normally we say, you know, if, if we've really bottomed, the wave three should get to the 138% extension, in this case, 196. So that's what I'm watching. Um, so with that, you have some up the upside levels to watch. You have some resistances to watch, breakout points. You know what to look for in terms of structure. We need a micro five wave move up. Shouldn't break below 118 and a break below 110 would invalidate it in that case then. We would have to watch for a reset of that B wave, a lower B wave. And that's pretty much it. So we haven't got much more space in this support area. The bulls start to turn up, but it's not any reliable signal yet. The momentum is still too weak and not sure how much is going to happen from Friday to Saturday. So we're going to focus on it. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep you updated. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. If you're interested in the membership, if you're interested in joining our Sunday live stream, this Sunday I think will be really interesting. We're going to talk about the possible bull market top, altcoin season, stuff like that. Answer your questions in our live stream. It's Sunday, 5 p.m. UTC. Um, as a member, you have access. You can find the links for those memberships in the description. And yeah, have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.